ladies and gentlemen, for math, we're going to continue with numbers. Today we're going to talk about numbers 13 and 14. All right, let me open up the PowerPoint. And let's talk about numbers 13 and 14, okay? Number 13. Now, just like 10, 11, and 12, 13 is a two-digit number. Say 13. 13. Good. T-H-I-R-T-E-E-N. And notice, the little boy is holding a full 10 frame because, remember, the number one represents 10. And if it's a 10 frame, there are 10 little frames. And then the little three represents the three little extras. So 10, 11, 12, 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And again, 13 tally marks. We'll talk about tally marks soon. Let's count the fingers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Now let's look at our number line. Notice how number 13 is one more than 12. Because look at it, it's going to the right. So remember, when the numbers go to the right, the numbers get larger. So here's 12, 13 is one more. Good. Again, our large 10, 10 frame. So our 10 frame is full, the number one represents a group of 10, and then number three represents three little ones. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Now number 14. Number 14 also is a two digit number. It has a group of 10 and four little ones. So as the little girl's holding the 10 frames, as you can see the 110 frame is full, and then four little ones, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Say fourteen. F O U R T E N. Fourteen. And again, fourteen tally marks. Five, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. And again, we'll talk about tally marks very soon. Let's count the fingers. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Notice how I took my time and I counted slowly. You don't want to count too fast and miscount. All right, number 14 is one more than 13. So again, we're moving up or to the right on the number line. Here's 13. 14 is one more. And then here again is our large 10 frame. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And then if you want, I'll um, post the PowerPoint again, and then you can have some fun. Again, this is optional. You don't have to do it, okay? But if you want, you can um, move the dots, the cover the number 13 with green dots and all other numbers yellow. Now be careful of this one. Look at this one. This is three, one. So that means that's three groups of 10 and only one little one. So that's actually 31. So remember, you're looking for the number 13. And then also, um, I've put the number 14. Okay? Now, I also want us to look at the page here, the page 13, 14. Um, I'm going to post a video going step by step the directions so you can watch that um, or if you want you can just go ahead and do it on your own but if you are going to do it on your own please be careful and make sure even though these are the starfish are in little boxes make little marks as you count this way it will help you know what ones you've counted what ones you haven't counted it will um, keep you at a good pace and it will help you count um, all the ones and not miss any. So what you're going to do is count the beads, trace 13, count the beads, trace 14, count the starfish, circle the correct number at the end of the row for the, the um, duck, the heart, and the shamrock. And then on the back, 
In the duck row, you'll count the dots, trace number 13, count the dots, trace number 14, and then for the shamrock, butterfly, star, and the flower, you'll count um, the shells and write how many. Again, make little marks. But again, on the video, um, on the video, you will see that um, There I am. <laughs> um, sorry guys, when I do the videos, I can't wear my glasses, so sometimes it's hard for me to see. So on the video that I, I'll post on Class Dojo, again, I go step by step doing the um, page 13 and 14, so page 165, 166, okay? All right, good job everybody, I'll see you soon.